I know um, that's not uh, a real student because it's one of the founder of the Greenog who is going to present to you as uh, a percutaneous stenotomy we try to develop with uh, different teams in France. Um, it's uh, Alexis Schnitzler and it's my friend and so I am so happy to introduce you and so now you can go on to present your <coughs> talk. Thank you. Alexis. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, I would like to thank uh, Alergan, our partners. Today I'm the English translator of uh, Philippe de Normandy, he's the master of the needle tenotomy. As you know, the, uh, the treatment of muscle contracture is linked to the tendons, but sometimes for older people, fragile people, general anesthesia is not possible and, you, and the in-stay hospital is a real problem. So to reduce the risk of general anesthesia in, in hospital, hospital, we developed um, a technique, a procedure, using a needle as a scalpel. There are some uh, similar treatments, for example, uh, Dupuytren is a French man, so I can do it in French. Chronic tendinopathies, diabetic 2, close, and trigger finger. It seems to be an effective treatment with less adverse events. For which, for, for, for this technique is for uh, a selective patients, is for um, older people, fragile people, with no active function, in with also pressure, with claw hand, with uh, everything like this. And it's very important that do not cut a tendon with, uh, uh, for a patients who have active functions. So, the procedure. The tendons are located by palpating the subcutaneous cords of the muscle. The suit to be treated is prepared with iodine. The skin uh, and the tissue are injected with uh, lidocaine. The needle is inserted perpendicular to the tendons and you use the needle as a scalpel to cut the tendons. When you pass through the tendons, it met uh, resistance and a crepitation. We name it in uh, French the scrunch crunch. I think that's in English, it's a crutch crutch, maybe. After the procedure, nothing very important. Most of the patients are in nursing home with less physiotherapy. So it's only advice for the nurse to continue to stretch the treated muscles. If uh, the palma skin, for example, is painful because there's a, a mycosis or something like this, you can put a no removable short arm cast. And as I say, as say uh, Philippe, you put it and you run away. Uh, I've got two movies. So I cross the finger after the click. So this one is for a claw hand of a very... Oh! I got it on my computer, but not on the screen. I'm sorry. So... Sorry. François, can you sing a song? <laughs> no, you don't have this anymore. Don't worry, we are on time. No. Bo so, no movies. Oh. Um, we have the, the movie on the... Yeah. 
Wonderful, it's amazing. Thank you very much. So this is for a close hand of an uh, older uh, patient. So first of all, it's local anesthesia. I will, I treat the fourth and the fifth finger. As you can see, there is a very important myco my mycosis on the palmar skin. the range of motions before treatment. Uh. And after, I use a needle to cut the flexor digitorum profundus and after I try to get the superficialis. The range of motions after the treatment. Now you can wash the end without problems. No cast, only a uh, big person. And the other muti is about uh, different sites. First of all, the uh, Alux abductor. This muscle have a very large tendons, so you have to go deeply in the feet. It's French cadaver, it's not a patient's. <laughs> Be cool. Now the plantar aponeurosis. Not a tendons, but it's sometimes a problem. Now the tibialis posterior. The two flexor, the procedure is always the same. You use the B-well of the needle as a scalpel to cut the tendons. Now there is a mistake in the biceps, not the fascial attire. I will go and I'll show you the last one. The pectoralis major. So as you can see, we can treat a lot of 
tangents. We have few studies on this topic. The first one is uh, about the knee flexor. It's a retrospective study about the patients we uh, where we treat. So the results are here. The mean age was 75. Sorry, it's uh, not easy to read it. The range of motions before the procedure was 94 degrees, af just after 51, and three months after 50. Some picture before and after. As you can see, uh, Philippe de Normandie is crying during the stretching of uh, the knee flexor. So we conclude that needle tenotomy where, uh, is well, uh, well toler 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 tolerated and other objectives were achieved. Another study about the finger flexor. Again, it's a retrospective study. The, uh, we use this time the guess to assess the needle tenotomy. The T-score uh, between before and after the procedure was uh, statistically significant. And the mean uh, centimeters was about five to six centimeters better after the needle tenotomy. The last study is uh, on fresh cadaver. So we use, we treat eight fresh cadavers. And we have um, a lot of naive surgeon or PMR or geriatrist who came to uh, learn how to do a needle tenotomy. They carried uh, 401 tenotomy and Philippe and Bernard dissect the area in order to evaluate the success of the tenotomy and uh, the addition lesion. The result, 72% complete tenotomy and only few, uh, few lesions, eight, and three were in nerves, but it was distal nerves and one vessel. So we conclude that percutaneous tenotomy is effectively with few injuries. The conclusion of this presentation is the aim of the, the needle tenotomy is to treat muscle contracture in order to improve hygienic goals for deformations and it seems to be well tolerated and yield an increase of range of motions. Thank you. Thank you.